Hey Maple friends, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. You know, today I was trying to think, I got to get out here and do some videos with you guys and try to highlight some things here out in the greenhouses. We got so many plants right now. Um, there's just so many things. Every week we're trying to list new things on our website. And uh, it's just an exciting time here at Mr. Maple. So one of my favorite maples that I always gravitate towards that I think more and more people need to know about is uh, an amazing tree. Uh, this is Acer Shirasawanum Bronze Age. I really think this thing is, de demands more attention than what it gets. I mean, this tree goes through so many different changes. Your spring color, I've seen so many different varieties of colors come out on that. Um, this year when I was capturing it, it was coming out this very pink red color uh, and then kind of transitioning into uh, kind of an orangish red. I mean, there's just so many different colors in that spring color. Then you get into the summer, you start getting that bronzing color on the leaf, goes to that green with a bronze uh, color on that. Just about the time it greens up, about right now, uh, in summer, you know, you start to get that just where it's mainly green. Uh, then you get that summer flush on top of that. And it's just this bright red pink uh, color on that. And you can see some of the veining in that as well. It's, it's kind of got some nice veining in that, not reticulated, but just shows the, the, the veins of that leaf very well. And then the fall color on this plant, I mean, it's mind blowing, honestly. I've seen it range from yellow to orange to red and about everything in between all on the same plant. So Acer Sirisawanum Bronze Age is uh, one of my today's top pick. So the, another one that's always on my radar just because it has some amazing display of colors. Um, and this is one that I grew in Oklahoma as well is Acer Palmatum Katsura. Now Katsura is kind of like the flagship Japanese maple for that spring. Uh, kind of coming out in that early spring, giving you this beautiful orange to yellow color. Um, now, if you're in a hotter climate, you want to protect that from the afternoon sun. But one thing that I always enjoyed about this was I could kind of play around with its location. The more sun you give it, uh, the better color you can get. But it's kind of a delicate balance. But this provides such an amazing orange color in the spring that contrasts so well with something else like a uh, like an Emperor One or something like that where you get those extreme contrasts and colors of the dark red to a bright orange. And this just kind of lets you know that spring is here. I know every year that's like one of my favorite things about spring was waiting for those maples to leaf out. And Katzer was always one of those first ones. And so it was always an exciting time because I knew, man, it's about to be a show out in the garden. So I just wanted to highlight some Katzer today. This is another one of my top pick. All right. so. Walking around a little bit more, I ran into an amazing cultivar that I'm always talking about. We just had our open house here at Mr. Maple and I was peddling this maple like a used car salesman. <laughs> this thing is awesome though. It's one of my favorites. Um, when it comes to a weeping or lace leaf dissectum, I think this one really sets a, a pretty high standard on that. We have Acer Palmatum Dragon's Fire uh, just amazing, amazing shape on these. They'll get a little wider than they do tall, a nice spreading arching habit on those. And what I really love about this is that when it first leaves out in the spring, it is a bright cherry red with a little bit of like a yellowish hint to the eye of that leaf on top of bright green bark. So you have this amazing contrast. Um, and I, I love when with lace leaves, I'm always looking for something that's going to just kind of set itself apart from the rest of the pack. There are many, many different lace leaves and it's hard to choose, you know, which one would you pick? Uh, Dragon's Fire gives you something I think that is just really, really unique in that, uh, that bright green bark with the red leaves coming out in the spring. And then you transition into summer, you get this dark kind of burgundy color on that. So you get this kind of chocolate burgundy color on top of that green bark again. So you have spring and then summer interest and then the fall color on this plant is absolutely amazing. It's gonna go start with like a yellow turning to an orange and then finishing with this crimson red. 
it's absolutely amazing how many transitions this plant goes through. And then on top of all of that, you get the shape. This thing is going to have an amazing ornamental style out in your garden that is unlike anything else. Uh, I love the arching branches and the structure of this plant, and I think you guys are too. So check out Acer Palmatum Dragon's Fire, another one of my top picks. Okay, so, I mean, there's so many to pick from, it's hard to know which ones to talk about. So I'm just kind of going through talking about ones that I'm really excited about, ones that I've grown before, ones that are kind of new and upcoming. But, you know, for me, it's always trying to find something just a little bit different. You know, you're always looking for a different texture or a contrast in color or just in shape and size. Um, and I've got one here for you that I think is really, really cool. This thing, so most of the time when people see it, they have no idea that it's a Japanese maple. Uh, but we've got Acer Palmatum Peve Starfish. Now, Peve Starfish is just this amazing leaf shape on this. It's got this curled leaf, this cupped uh, hand shape. Looks like little starfish hanging on there. Leafs out a nice red color. Uh, gets a little bit of a burgundy in the summer, this time of year. Uh, you can get some summer new growth on this too that kind of adds to the contrast, I believe. Uh, it does get a little bit flatter leaf on that new growth, but that's just that summer new growth flushing over top of last year's growth. So next year, this growth here will be that back to that cup leaf. But I think this is a great plant to add some different texture and color in your garden. And one of the best things about this plant is when it goes into its fall color, it's just going to light up. I mean, this thing goes to a crimson red that is going to just make anything around it stand out. Uh, this is a great plant, I think, for a lot of different landscapes. It's a mid-sized dwarf, so you can fit it in a lot of small spaces. Uh, it's got a great habit to it and a great structure that I think adds a lot of textural uh, architecture to your garden and and just a great leaf if you're looking for something that just got something a little extra it's going to stand out from everything else peve starfish is definitely a great plant for that so today i had to talk about this as another one of my top picks all right so i'm continuing to go through this house uh, 18 here at mr maple and i mean there are so many to choose from it's really hard to make a pick to talk about these but i've been kind of wanting to do some videos where just kind of walk through the greenhouses and show you guys what's really piquing my interest um, as a collector i always have that in my mind i'm looking for something really special something unique that i can add to my collection to continue to showcase the diversity of japanese maples and i think i've got, I've got one here you guys are going to like so right here i've got acer palmatum golden falls now <laughs> Golden Falls, I mean, the name says it all, right? It comes out in this beautiful golden yellow color in the spring with some orange highlights on that. And, you know, this is something you would need to give protection from the hot afternoon sun for sure. It's got a very light yellow color. But the great thing about that is that that's not a limitation. What that is, and it's an advantage. Because if you have a space in your garden that's shaded, that needs some color, and you're looking for something to really brighten up a space and maybe you've got some other things that you want to accent with, this is going to be exactly what you can do for a couple of reasons. You can stake this up and then let it weep down. You can let this just cascade over onto the ground as almost a form like a ground cover for that spot. Uh, it's going to give you such a bright yellow and green color that it's going to just light up that space and everything around it is going to stand out even more. <clears throat> One of the things great about this plant as well <clears throat> is quite vigorous, uh, much like a Ryusin or something in that style, uh, that it's going to get to where you need it to be in a quick way. Uh, great fall color on this too can range from an orange and into a red, but uh, just a very versatile plant because of its structure. Uh, one of the ideas that I've been thinking about, I've got a garden that I'm planning and, and kind of designing in my head of what I want to do out here, is that uh, out here in North Carolina, we have tons and tons of waterfalls. And so a lot of these weeping Japanese maples kind of remind me of that. And I was thinking the other day how amazing it would be to take a couple of different uh, lace leaf weeping Japanese maples, like a viridus 
and a Tamukiyama, for example, and then have a Golden Falls or like a Looking Glass Falls, which is one of Mr. Maple's introduction, as kind of representing the waterfall, and then the weeping lace leaves around it would represent the mountains. So how cool of an idea is that, right? So I've just been kind of thinking in my mind as a collector, I'm always trying to create these uh, landscape designs in my, in my head of what's appealing to me. Everybody has a different style, but I just kind of wanted to come to the greenhouses today and show you guys some awesome plants. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm gonna try to get out here and do this a little often. Most of the time I'm stuck behind the computer editing videos. <laughs> so it was kind of a, a nice change to get out here jump in front of the camera and talk about some of the plants that I'm interested in. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Sign up for the weekly email on mrmaple.com because we might have some of these coming to you here in the near future. God bless and have a great day.